welcome back everyone in this video i am going to demonstrate how do you troubleshoot the default gateway issues as you are well aware that for a device to communicate across multiple networks it must first have an appropriate ip address the subnet mask and a default gateway so in this packet tracer activity which is 10.3.5 let us see or let us try to troubleshoot the issues for the given topology so let's see what we are going to do so this is the given network topology to us where we have one router two switches and each of these switches uh, represent uh, two different networks we have two different networks here one of them is 192.168.10.0 and the other one is 192.168.11.0 there are two networks here and we are also given some network documentation where we are uh, given an addressing table and different objectives in the objective it is saying that verify the network documentation and isolate problems and once you isolate the problems implement it implement your solution for these problems verify whether it is done properly or not and then document the solutions so what we have to do is it is asking me instructions verify network documentation fine and it is asking verify the network documentation and isolate any problems so test a network you must have complete documentation right notice in the addressing table that some information is missing and complete the addressing table by filling in the missing default gateway information for the switches and pcs okay fine so it's asked me to first fill up this particular column okay now for there are two switches here s1 and s2 and there are four pcs if i show if you look at the topology i always have been telling you that you have to understand that the default gateway for this particular network will always be the ip address of the interface of this particular router so for r1 if you just uh, go this the ip address the ip address interface for g0 by 0 will be the default gateway for pc1 pc2 and s1 similarly for this network 192.168.11.0 the ip address of this interface which is g0 by 1 of r1 will be the default gateway for pc3 and pc4 so let me see there you go this is the default gateway for s1 Control C here. I can't uh, type it here. You, you actually, you if you write if you have a notebook, you have to write down this and then complete the table. It's pretty easy. This IP address of G0 by 0 interface will be the default gateway for S1, PC1, PC2. This IP address of the in G0 by 1 interface of R1 will be for PC3, PC4, and S2. Now, before we proceed further, it is actually asking me to test the ping connectivity between all devices it is asking me to do test it you check it out pc1 can ping pc2 or not pc2 can uh, ping so before i even start doing this let me give you some tips usually when uh, even in your exam when you have a lab exam or when you have the activity exam sometimes what happens is you might not get the necessary pings for that purpose i will tell you that the main reason is incorrect ip address assignment if you don't uh, assign the correct IP address to the interfaces or to your PCs, then it won't work. The second reason is incorrect subnet mask. Incorrect subnet masks. Sometimes, maybe because we are all human beings and we make uh, typing mistakes, and or else if you don't you don't actually spend much time by uh, for entering the subnet mask properly. That is one reason. Incorrect IP address assignment, incorrect subnet mask assignment. Both are the most common issues. Why? usually communication does not take place and again the other thing is the default gateway setting also should be made for all pcs and switches so that only then they can communicate with the outside world okay for switch s1 and s2 there are two vlan configurations here uh, if you remember correctly vlan 1 is the svi interface switch virtual interface only if a switch is assigned with an ip address only then it can be reached from the outside world or from a remote network from other networks if you do not assign the vlan one uh, which is your svi interface it cannot be reached it will only be directing traffic within your local area network only so with these things in mind so let me show you uh, what i will do is so what uh, finally what it is asking is you should uh, be able to ping each and everybody for that reason just clearly please look at these ip addresses and let me go here and check uh, so as i say First, let me check PC1's IP address. So for me, how to check? Just click on PC1, go to the desktop tab, click on the IP configuration tab. It is written IPv4 address is 192.168.11.10. So to verify whether this is correct or not, what is the PC1's IP address? 
it is given as 192.168.10.10. So the see, check it out. The first one is a mistake. PC1, it is written wrong. So you replace it. Okay. You replace it. Sometimes you will find this mistake so easily. Sometimes it takes time to troubleshoot each one, each and every one of the device. I usually start with PCs because it's easier. I can just see. I can see whether it is uh, assigned correctly or not. And if it is uh, assigned improperly, then I can automatically change it. Now, just like this. Now, check the, don't just uh, close it out. Check this subnet mask also. All the subnet masks are 255.255.255.0. So, check it out. Yes, it is right. The default gateway. The third thing is default gateway. The default gateway for PC1 is 192.168.10.1, right? So, let me check whether I gave it in the right manner or not. Yes. So, these three things are mandatory for PC1 to communicate with the outside world. So, I did this. I'm closing it out. What is PC2's IP address? 10.11. So let me check that. PC2. Go to desktop. Click on IP configuration. So, okay. It's right. 10.11.255.255.255.0.192.168.10.1. Perfect. So there is no problem with PC2's IP address assignment. Done. PC3 is 11.10 and PC4 is 11.11. .11. But here for these two, the IP, the default gateway IP address should be 192.168.11.1. Okay. So let me check that also. Now, PC3, click on this, go to desktop tab, go to IP configuration. 11.10 is right. Subnet mask is also right, is also correct. And the default gateway is also correct. 192.168.11.1. What about PC4? Go to desktop tab, uh, go to desktop, go on for IP configuration. 11.11, .11. see, the default gateway is given as wrong here. It should be 11.1, right? It should be given as 11.1. .1. So I found another mistake. So for IP address, 192.168.11.11. .11. So this is right now. Now I changed the default gateway of PC4. So we have found two problems until now. IP address of PC1 is a mistake. Uh, the default gateway for PC4 is a mistake. So I changed two things. So let me see. Now you see, I got the completion as 42%. Now let me see for others also. Now, how do I check? I told you that so this give default gateways are set. Uh, now for S1, let me click on S1. Uh, now let me click on CLI, press enter, and let me push on enable. Uh, show running config. Okay, in switch one. So if, if I need to check everything, there are interfaces they are written down here. Yes, check out whether switch one has the IP address assigned or not. For that, I have to check running config. Interface VLAN 1, it is showing 192.168.10.2 is assigned. Let me check whether this is the right way or not. Yes, perfect. Also check the subnet mask. Sometimes there might be a mistake in assignment of subnet address, subnet mask also. So check it out. Yes, perfect. So you have the IP address and subnet mask assigned to it. Okay. Then let me see what else. So we have line con zero, and then we have the line uh, virtual interface zero to four. Then we have line VTY five to 15, everything. Okay, fine. So S1 is uh, set up properly only. So let me close this. Now let me check S2. Once again, how do I check what is written on it? Go to CLI, press enter, and type in uh, enable. We need to go into the privileged mode. Show running config, enter. Now there is a more but more down here. It shows that there is some of the input still, some of the output that is still to be viewed. So press space bar. Press space bar, all the interfaces. Now, if you find out, now I'm now I even I made a mistake. See, for this, I don't find the IP in see interface VLAN 1. There is no IP address. That means for switch, switch S2, the IP address is not assigned. We have to do that. And also for switch S1, I did not find this. For switch S1, I need to give this IP default gateway command. If I don't give this IP default gateway command for switch S1, it won't work. So there are two more mistakes which we found out. So let me just start doing by this. Say uh, for this, what you need to do is enter into the global configuration mode conf t, then interface VLAN 1. What is the IP address for switch S2? Where is this? Where is this? Where is this? This here. Switch S2, the IP interface, the interface address is 11.2, control C. Let me come here, paste, okay. And what is the subnet mask 255, 
255.255.0 and make sure you have to enter no shut down only then it will be up okay so i entered the no shutdown command for s2 so s2 now has the ip default gateway and also the ip address if you are unsure sir i don't know what to do now you can do what to do is come out and once again type in show running config check out host name is written everything is written these interfaces are not given now check out ip address is assigned ip default gateway is assigned both of them are assigned so i did this now let me close this now the other problem which i found out is for s1 there is no ip default gateway so for that purpose go here go to s1 and type here uh, conf terminal go inside ip default gateway what is the default gateway for s1 i usually tend to copy paste it because it is much more easier so that i don't make any typing mistakes control c and come here click right click paste this is an easier way of do handling these things this packet address is quite easy to work with okay so ip default gateway 192.168.10.1 enter you need not enter the subnet mask for the default gateway i'm just showing it the direction that's all enter okay so that should be done and ex exit let me see if i did the right way show running config there you go vlan one is set ip default gateway is set okay so it shows 100% that means i i found out all the problems and i gave the solutions also so i am done here let me see if if you can do the pinging or not okay let us try to ping pc1 to pc4 okay so go to pc1 go to command prompt type in ping what is pc4's ip address go here this is this control c come here paste enter so let us check whether uh, everything works properly or not at the same time i can also try out uh, pc let us try pc3 to s1 okay let us try pc3 to s1 pc3 ping s1's uh, sva address is 198. Dot. let me see why should i type it i waste time typing all these things i can straight away go here s1 is 192.168.10.2 so control c come here in pc3 i am trying it see whether i am getting this or not yeah fine the ping is working fine it's uh, everything is working fine so this works fine request timed out request timed out see it works fine now it is working fine you can check anything you can check from pc1 to everywhere i hope you now everything works but sometimes this might not be sufficient you might need to check elsewhere also the one thing which you haven't checked is whether these ip addresses assignment for r1 has been done properly or not if i were you i usually check all the things before i even try to find the problem is so for r1 how do you check click on r1 go to cli same thing enter enable show running config enter check out whether this is done properly host name is set up interface the interface address is set there is no vlan address see for interface g0 by 1 it is showing me the ip address properly 11.1.255.255.0 okay fine there is no vlan 1 and see 0 is for 0 by 0 also i can see the ip address so both ip addresses are assigned and both is working properly so this is how you troubleshoot it please remember that the most common problem even when your exams when you filed when you fail to do the ping please check whether you have done the ip address assignment properly or not the only problem usually most of the students uh, do not complete their lab exercises or do not get the 100 percent is because of typing mistakes simple they know the concepts they understand it well but typing mistakes so that is the reason to minimize the typing mistakes i uh, of course ipv4 easy when you compare with ipv6 ipv6 you have to enter those huge address names for all those addresses you have to enter them so you make it a habit of copy pasting it onto the command line cli interface which makes it much more easier and which reduces the chances of getting errors okay now as i said whenever you have a troubleshooting problem or whenever you are faced uh, with such problems of not getting connectivity please check the ip address assignment on pcs check your subnet masks on pcs check the default gateways on pcs after that in switches check whether the ip address is assigned to the switch or not uh, using the sva interface 
you have to find out interface vlan one is there or not and after that you have to check the whether the default gateway is set for s1 or not or in the switches and then go to the router check whether the interface are assigned properly or not whether the correct ip address is assigned to the correct interface or not so all these things you do it then it will should be easy peasy for you to get out uh, uh, knowing that everything is done if still then issue persists then you have to dig deeper so troubleshooting is not easy troubleshooting it, it is not at all easy you have to understand how to do the troubleshooting first so if you if you are able to do the troubleshooting then obviously you learn the concepts more so uh, go to netacad do some exercises and do this on your own so as i said just try to find out what everything is whether everything is done properly or not it gives you better confidence okay so thank you very much we'll stop here thank you